Hey friends, Father Allen here. Welcome to day one of our nine days with St. Joseph. If you were to ask most Canadians their association with St. Joseph, many would say the oratory in Montreal. And how many of us have been there multiple times over the course of our lifetime? It is the largest church in the world dedicated to St. Joseph, founded by now St. Brother Andre, a brother of the Holy Cross living in Montreal. He was canonized a saint back in October of 2010. And for those of us who were there for the celebrations, you might recall that the motto chosen was a friend, a brother, a saint. That St. Joseph was first of all a friend. He was a friend of God. He was a friend of the friends of God, the poor, the sick, the lonely, the lame, the crippled, all those who came to the oratory seeking his advice, seeking the intercession power of St. Joseph, seeking healing and miracle from God. And we, in light of these nine days with St. Joseph, could adjust that motto a little bit and say that St. Joseph is a saint, a foster father, and a friend of God. And we ourselves want to be friends of God, or do we? Do we appreciate, do we accept the friendship of God into our life and understand that when I know that Jesus is my friend, everything changes. Think of the examples in, in the scriptures. Jesus said to his disciples, I no longer call you servants, but friends. In the Garden of Gethsemane, when Judas was betraying Jesus, he even said to Judas, friend, as a way of calling him back uh, to himself. One of the resurrection appearances, Jesus appears on the seashore and says to the disciples, have you caught anything? Friends. So God calls us friend. That's how personal, that's how intimate a relationship we can have with him. Even in spite of my own weaknesses, even in spite of my own sinfulness, God loves me because of that and he wants to be my friend. So let's see what Pope Francis has to say, a little excerpt here from his letter to us on the year of St. Joseph. The history of salvation is worked out in hope against hope. Through our weaknesses, all too often we think that God works only through our better parts. Yet, most of his plans are realized in and despite our frailty. Thus, St. Paul could say, To keep me from being too elated, a thorn was given in the flesh, a messenger of Satan to torment me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I appealed to the Lord, about this, that it would leave me. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you, for power is made perfect in weakness. Since this is part of the entire economy of God, we must learn to look upon our weaknesses with tender mercy. Let us pray. St. Joseph, renowned offspring of David, pray for us. St. Joseph, light of patriarchs, pray for us. St. Joseph, spouse of the mother of God, pray for us. This is the prayer of Pope Francis in the year of St. Joseph. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. St. Joseph, pray for us. Amen.